The Columbine High School tragedy helped open America's eyes to the reality of school violence. It caused law enforcement to change the way it responded to school shootings from that point on. There was something known as secure the perimeter. Now that's no longer. We have officers, single officers going in, paramedics going in. We're all working together. So that doesn't make the headlines. How many have been stopped? Frank DeAngelis was principal of Columbine back in April 1999. He's dedicated his retirement to preventing repeats of the attack in which 12 students and one teacher were shot to death. We're here today just uh, to support our kids. DeAngelis recently joined a tour of a building that bears his name. For five years inside this converted old elementary school not far from Columbine. And every one of us, when we come in here, we put our egos out the door and we say, how can we do this better? The Frank DeAngelis Center for Community Safety has helped police officers and school personnel from around the world prepare for active shooter events. It's super valuable. William Woodward with the University of Colorado Center for Study and Prevention of Violence says while working to prevent shootings in the first place is critical, learning how to conduct school lockdowns, confront shooters, and clearing rooms during a violent incident is also key. The big problem there at Columbine was it took four hours between the first shot fired and getting to the library where all the killing happened. These days, SWAT teams are trained to go into a school in a diamond-shaped formation. The officer in front is tasked with going after the shooter. You don't wait. That protocol was not followed at a Uvalde, Texas elementary school in May, where police officers waited more than an hour to take down the gunman who just killed 21 people. I just think it's negligent not to know what the state of the art is in, t in terms of dealing with an active shooter. It's unconscionable. This state-of-the-art, high-tech training puts officers through scores of different scenarios, allows them to experience a wide range of real-world situations. If you make a mistake here, okay, you've made a mistake, but you're learning about how to surveil a, a room, a building. Woodward says this training remains a work in progress. Some police departments, he adds, still deny this can happen in their communities. There's a lot of work to be done here. <laughs> DeAngelis has felt the pain firsthand. And I refuse to be helpless. I refuse to be hopeless, and I'm not giving in as long as I'm on the face of this earth. That's why this center is here. Hendrick Sabrandi, CGTN, Littleton, Colorado.